NASA is trying to make sure everyone understands that there's a lot more planned. NASA is insisting that the U.S. will stay at the forefront of space exploration. And just the other day, when the head of NASA was talking about this, this is the first thing he pointed to. Take a look here. This is actual video. It's not an animation. This is an asteroid called Vesta. And in just a matter of days, on July 16th, a U.S. spacecraft, the Dawn, is expected to arrive at its orbit around this asteroid. Now, what's so cool about this, why I'm showing it to you, you can see this thing in the night sky. It's the only asteroid that is visible to the naked eye, and it's only this month and next. It's reflecting a lot of light, so you can actually at night go out and look at that asteroid and know that a U.S. spacecraft is about to get there, the dawn. And you can show off, go outside and say, you know what that is? An uh, asteroid. So for two months you can see it? Yeah, it's going to be even brighter in August than mm -hmm. it is right now. NASA has this animation as well. And these images are going to help scientists understand the evolution of the planet and could help the U.S. plan a mission to Mars, which is something else that NASA is saying is absolutely committed to still. This here is the, the plan for the next Mars rover, the Curiosity. Uh, that's supposed to head to Mars in November. It would land in August 2012. And NASA says it is going to stay in the lead also on manned space flight. Here's what Administrator Charles Bolden said just the other day. So when I hear people say or listen to the media reports that the final shuttle flight marks the end of U.S. human space flight, I have to tell you, you all must be living on another planet. Living on, living on another planet, he said. He said NASA wants U.S. astronauts to travel on private space missions, and they're working on new types of vehicles to eventually bring people to space. I'm actually going to show you one of those new vehicles in the 10 a.m. hour, uh, Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific All right, today. so we do want to get this straight. Exploration is far from over. If we're talking about Mars, it's far from over. But yes. then you think about... The money and the money. budget that NASA has. And this is why a lot of people are wary of these claims that the U.S. will stay at the forefront. You know, well, right now we ought to see how the next budget is going to shake out. As we all know, the budget for the next, next fiscal year still not doesn't exist in any kind of final form. There's the wrangling in Washington. Uh, NASA has had a, a budget of $19 billion this year. So then it's almost definitely going to get slashed to some extent. Mm -hmm. Every proposal out there slashes it to some extent so um, a lot of people waiting to see how much will be lost and what NASA will have to sacrifice I got a lot more details for all of you um, up on the web take a look I have it up on Facebook and Twitter I'm at Josh Lev CNN we've posted all the new technologies I'm telling you about today uh, also we're talking about this debate about should the US be in the forefront how legitimate of value is this financially mm -hmm. and working out the budget and when you think about people who may not have jobs and a trip to Mars you see why they got the budget you there. gotta cut someone